I'm going to give you a brief introduction to using Microsoft Styles to format your document to make it more usable not only for yourself but also for people that might use screen readers. So I've got a dummy document here. You can see this is just Latin text for us to play with. Uh, I've added some headings into my document already. Now I'm just going to talk about headings in this video. You can see I've got multiple sections here and I wanted to label them individually with individual headings. So this is like the main heading, subheading, subheading, and they're all different. So the initial impulse is to just make it bold, maybe make it bigger so people can tell that they're different subheadings. But if you use Microsoft Styles, you can label the headings using official formatting and it'll change all of your headings at once and it'll also make the document more organized for you. So here's how that works. You just are on the home tab or the home uh, ribbon, wherever they're called now, here. And you've got the styles box right here. So if you drop down, you can see all the different headings that are available. I'm going to start with heading one. All right, so lorem ipsum is my heading one. This one is at, I would say, the same level as lorem ipsum, so I'm also going to make that heading one. This is a subheading, so I'm going to make that heading two. So it starts with um, one is the main heading, two is a subheading, three is the sub subheading, so on and so, so forth. If you're familiar at all with um, web programming, use the same labels for doing uh, HTML headings as well. All right, same thing here. That looks like a heading one, heading two, and this is actually heading three. So I may I'll take the periods off there. Now you can see all three headings next to each other right here. They all look a little bit different. So that's great for our readers to be able to tell the difference. And then what's even better is that if you go to View and click on Navigation Pane, on the left hand here, if you click on Heading, so it's, it's uh, automatically populated here, each of your sections shows up here with the headings that you use for Microsoft Styles. Now, if you just make your headings bold or a different font size, they don't show up here. But this is actually a, kind of like a behind-the-scenes labeling of your text. So the system knows that's, that's heading one, this is heading one, this is heading two. And if you click on them, it takes you straight there. So it's kind of like having little bookmarks within your document itself. And one of the best parts about this is if you decide, oh, you know what, this section doesn't really belong down here, you can actually click on it and drag it up to where you think it should go. Look at that. I didn't have to do anything else. No copying, no pasting, just clicking and dragging. I might fix the format there. So there you have it. It's an easy way to see your document outline. And if you were to save and publish this document, people with screen readers could access your document really easily because rather than having to go through word by word, they could use your screen reader to browse by heading. So you save them a lot of time and make it a lot more usable for people with disabilities.